my cat just came in. And she's so confused because the room's completely different. <laughs> just looking all around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna split the tier lists up. So at the moment we've got this all in one tier list. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do two tier lists. One for healers, one for DPS. 40 predictions. So this is where I'm thinking we're gonna, the, the spec is gonna go. Uh, barring any, you know what, in fact, I'll, I'll do a proper intro and we'll just chuck this on YouTube, I think. So basically this is gonna be the level 40 tier list and it's gonna be a prediction tier list because we don't know what runes are coming out yet. What we do know is what talents people are gonna be getting and what spells people are gonna be getting, you know, whether they get a new rank at level 38, 40, anything like that. Uh, whether they get specific new spells at certain levels between 25 and 40 that are actually going to be you know relevant powerful things like innovate and we're going to use that information to try and adjust the tier list which we currently have for level 25 and see whether or not specs are looking like they're going to get stronger or weaker compared to other specs based on what they're going to be getting so we're going to start out with priest i guess what we're going to do we're going to start out with the dps specs i'm not going to do any of the the healer specs we're going to start out with the dps specs for the the first video and we're going to do another video for healer specs so shadow right now is it's not really a spec you can't really take mind flay and i don't really consider it shadow if you're not taking mind flay personally uh i think that right now you're just playing disc with you know a couple of shadow talents that are making you able to go more offensive as disc right now i've got shadow as na however at 40 i'm gonna have shadow in as s tier i think i'm gonna create a brand new tier list for this whole time so this is gonna be the dps run one right so shadow i'm actually gonna put straight in s tier the reasoning for that is they're getting double the spell they're getting a good new rank of shield they're getting mind blast unfortunately pain is at 42 so they won't be getting pain but they're getting a new rank of inner fire and these these are like 40 ish uh, and then talent wise they're getting shadow weaving they're getting silence they're getting vamp embrace they're getting shadow form uh, honestly they're also getting you know, can probably put this on here they're gonna get darkness i think darkness is worth putting on there so they're getting all of these great new talents that increase their shadow damage by a lot but they're also going to be getting more tanky due to shadow form and this is not you know without considering any new runes we don't know what new runes are coming in so shadow gonna hit a really nice power spike at 40 i'm putting it in s tier i think they have a really good base toolkit in general and if any of the runes that they get are strong in in any way shape or form i think they have a really good base rune kit as well then yeah they're gonna be they're gonna be very spicy next up we've got feral and right now we have feral in b tier and feral is gonna be i think getting stronger they're gonna be getting the moment feral's kind of held back by the fact that they're they're they don't have enough talents and there's not any specific talents that that are massively strong for them but it's just this general utility that they're building up that they aren't able to get so things like improved shred are, are very nice and gonna help them out a lot but it's just the general like being able to swap to bear and have rage do to fura things like that uh so they can you know run both fura and interrupt having more damage uh yeah the, the manual crowd pommeler obviously going to be a factor as well for them i think uh, and then getting things like innovate travel form shred at a good rank dire bear form which is going to make them way more tanky if they swap into bear bite uh, which they don't have at the moment they're going to get a 38 rank obviously the, the pounce stun uh, and then rip at 36 as well so i think feral actually is going to get a lot more actual feral stuff as opposed to the the cheese that they have at the moment with the sunfire spec they're going to actually be able to play feral more uh, traditionally so i think feral is going to be moving up in power from from for me from b to a which is going to be nice to see uh balance is i think just going to remain in the s tier as long as they don't nerf star surge if they nerf star surge then it's going to lose a bunch of power but yeah as they, again they get all this great utility they get nice uh, nice ranks for you know core damage stuff they get a bunch of uh a bunch of stuff to actually buff their star surge they can get star surge stun they get more crit on it crit damage on it uh damage on it in general so yeah the, uh, the star surge is gonna gonna still be very painful if they don't nerf it hard so that's gonna be interesting to see um but yeah for now i've got them in s tier we got ret i think is actually comparatively gonna gonna lose some power because there's not that much extra that they actually get that is that you know that devastating they get the shadow resora that they can swap to they get divine shield which okay they can attack during now instead of the, the current little shield thing so there's that they get plate which is probably the biggest thing right their plate armor upgrade new rank of hodge so it lasts a little bit longer and then new rank of holy light to help help heal themselves and then repentance is pretty big deal i'd say uh 
vengeance and then two-handed spec they just a little bit more damage but i don't think there's anything there that's like this massive massive you know game changing thing so i'm gonna say that they're gonna potentially reduce in in tier possibly De again depends on runes depends on items that come out but i think it's it's not really that ret is getting weaker as such they're just not getting as much stronger via talents and spec uh, and, and spells than a lot of other specs are so comparatively they're sort of falling off a little bit i think uh prot i still think isn't going to be a thing so we're going to skip over that if it is i just don't know enough about it to rank it honestly haven't seen anyone really playing it so it's a, a very hard one to judge ellie and i think ellie is probably the spec in the game that's going to be getting the most power gain through talents and spells this this patch i think ellie is going to be absolutely terrifying i think most people will probably tell you that so i think ellie is ellie is a sure thing s tier right now barring them getting some absolute trash runes and everything else getting like god tier runes or something or just some random hard nerfs on their current stuff but yeah 50 percent overload being able to use lightning bolt loads more damage through their talents really good ranked stuff chain lightning uh, new rank of Bolt at 38, Earthshock at 36, Searing Token at 40, they get Wind Fury, they get Grounding, they get Self Res, they get Double Purge, it's just the list goes on, right? The spec is going to be absolutely insane. So yeah, you, you like watch out for Ellie's and honestly, if you're playing Shaman right now and you're not sure what spec to go, I'd say definitely go Ellie. Enhanced Shaman. And it's a tricky one to rank really because Enhanced Shaman has kind of got two forms, right? It's got like Damage Enhanced Shaman and then it's kind of got like Tank Enhanced Shaman. Um, and I think Damage Enhanced Shaman is just still going to suffer from lack of mobility and just generally not being that tanky. If you don't play Wei, then you're just so squishy. I've ranked it at B, but arguably Tank Shaman could still be quite decent. Again, they're getting Wind Fury grounding. Um, I guess they're going to have to use Rock Biter as, as the Tank Shaman, so the Wind Fury Totem won't help them that much. But they're getting uh, a bunch of extra stuff in the way of damage, so they might gain you know some damage while being tanky. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I think that the the, the Tank Shaman is overall going to be probably better currently at 25 than it is at 40 so this is why i've kind of reduced the power a little bit and put it in b there we go B tier. arms warrior and i feel like everyone's talking about arms warrior um and i might be wrong here but i don't think it's gonna be s tier i think mortal strike is a big deal right they're getting a bunch of new stuff right they're getting zerker rage they're getting pummel zerker stance uh intercept so they're going to be very very mobile with both intercept and charge with the Warbringer rune allowing them to sort of ping around in combat a lot. So you better believe that they're going to have good uptime, but I just don't know if they're going to have enough rage to maintain any actual threatening damage with all the new runes that people have. So that'll be interesting to see. I might be wrong. And, and you know, at higher gear levels when they're getting, you know, freedoms and, and heal bot and stuff, they might just be terrifying. Um, and, and, you know, this absolute damage machine. But I think they're still going to kind of fill the same sort of niche where they're just like pushing in, tanking a lot of damage, being annoying, putting up mortal strikes, sort of a little bit almost more utility tank frontline sort of uh, role rather than the scary warrior that we know from Wrath. I just don't think the pressure is going to be anywhere near as high as, as what we see in Wrath from warriors. But again, I might be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. I've, I'm cautiously putting them up to A, but you know, it's a prediction. Watch the space sort of thing. Fury is basically just why wouldn't you just play arms i don't think that the damage is going to be realistically that much higher than arms has just consider you have to be doing double the damage of arms to make it worth it with the 50 percent mortal strike right so i put fury and C. am i'm not expecting to see that many of them but yeah maybe you'll get a few people playing it but yeah it just doesn't have the the same sort of utility that the arms does and the damage if any doesn't really make up for it uh so i'm taking them out of na tier at least um, and we'll put them in in C tier. Uh, Prot, I'm keeping in NA again. I just don't don't know enough about the spec. Haven't really seen many of them. Haven't seen any of them do anything really of note. So it's really hard for me to compare what I don't know now to you know with the new the new tools they're getting. It's it's too hard for me to judge. So I'm gonna put that in F tier NA. You might see some. It might end up being good. There might be some some cheese spec that somebody comes up with but again I, I it's a predictive list and i just don't know enough to to predict it uh asa so asa is going to have really really high sustained damage i think they're going to have good poison talents and then that with the uh the poison rune is going to be 
super annoying. I think they're going to be getting Cold Blood, Sil Sylphate, Vigor. And, and Rogues are a tricky one to rank because they, they have so many options to sort of half spec, right? They can go like, you know, a bunch of points into Asa and then finish off with some in combat or some in sub or whatever, right? And, and do this sort of hybrid, hybrid spec. And then it's really hard to sort of quantify what that spec actually is, so... I'm just going with pure asset at the moment, but there will likely be some potential variants that are also very strong. But yeah, the, the asset is going to be the sustained damage spec for sure. Where I, I think combat will have sustained damage as well, but I think asset is generally scarier due to the, the nature of the way that it deals damage is scary into both plate and, and clo uh, cloffies and stuff like that as well. But these specs will most likely lack a little bit in utility and mobility. Combat, I've actually put the same, but just slightly worse, I think, than Asa. Combat is good at the moment because the early early talents are quite good. So pretty much regardless what you play, you can put a bunch of points in early combat and it's good right now at 25. But if you fully commit to it, you're basically just, just this like PvE damage bot. It's very similar to Fury, I think, in that regard. So I put combat down to B and then sub, I think, is going to be very, very scary with prep. They got cheap shot, they got kidney shot, they got blind, right? They got a good rank of Abyss. They, they got a new backstab at 36. Okay, it's not amazing, it's not too bad. They're gonna have a wound poison. And then on top of that, they're gonna have a bunch more damage uh, through the talents. So definitely watch out for sub rogues. They are, they're gonna be scary, I think. They're gonna be bursting people down like crazy. Next up, we have Hunter. Hunter's getting quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I've kind of got spells pretty much the same for all of the specs because they're kind of relevant for all three specs. The, the, the specs don't really differ that hard in terms of the, you know, the way they play uh, for the most part. They deal damage in slightly different ways, but the, the spells and utilities are still relevant. So we've got Rapid Fire. We've got Frost Trap, which is very strong. Uh, Flare, again, really strong spell. Uh, Feign Death. So the ability to start actually, you know, feigning and using traps, this is a huge deal. Viper Sting, which is very annoying, although more serious players will be having a big stack of uh, poison resistance potions to remove that. Uh, Aspect of the pack, so this is going to be nice for the group. So things like Warsong and group world PvP. Uh, the armor class is going to be getting upgraded to male. They get a new rank of Hawk, a new Mark, and a new rank of Freezing Trap, so it lasts a longer duration. Uh, and then Marksman is getting True Shot or a Talent if you go all the way down. It gets Range Specialization, so more damage, Barrage, Scatter. Scatter is a very big deal, I think. So Marksman, potentially, it depends It depends on if they decide to change the way that Hunters are dealing damage. So right now, they are very, very heavy on pet damage. And... Blizzard has done some changes to reduce that and to put a little bit more of the weight on the range damage. I think they need to, to do even more. I think pets are still doing too much of uh, a percentage of hunter's damage. I think it's too easy for bad players to just autopilot do damage with them. Um, and it would be it would be nice to see more of that damage shifted to their actual shots rather than just letting the pet do it. Just auto attacks, basically. Um, so yeah, I think that if that happens, then Marksman will, will potentially come up to S tier because the damage is going to be crazy high from, Mark, from Marksman in that regard. And then I think BM could come down to A tier, right? If the pet is weaker, then BM is weaker, right? Makes sense. And then I think Survival is going to likely stay in A tier. They're much more of a utility spec, right? They've got Wyvern, they've got Lightning Reflex, Counter Attack, Sure Footed, and Trap Mastery. So you're going to, you know, be causing a lot of problems with things like Frost Trap. Uh, as survival uh, with the tra entrapment things like that as well that are going to be way more relevant this patch and yeah survival is going to be really really annoying however it's not going to be the kind of spec that's like in your face just one shotting you it's more of a, a team player so it's it's hard to actually rank that but yeah just for overall pvp and overall um ranking i'm giving it an a uh keeping it an a I'm not sure whether it's A right now or not. I haven't seen that many people actually going for survival talents. Most people are playing BM. There's a few people playing MM, but yeah. Survival is quite rare to see at the moment, so it might not even be an, an A at the moment. It's just the, the, the talents are mostly just utility at the top of the tree. Marksman, again, remaining the same, but could go up. BM remaining the same, but could go down. Again, this is very much dependent on runes, but we don't know what the rune changes are, so we go with, the, with what we know and, and try and make a prediction based on that. Uh, next up, we've got Warlocks. 
before we had demo in, in NA because the talents in demo weren't really worth taking early on. Even if you played something like meta, which is potentially what you could, could, could consider demo, uh, the, the early on talents just weren't worth taking. You would most likely take something in affliction instead. However, now you can go all the way down to soul link. So that's going to be more of a traditional demo spec where you're just very tanky. There's most of the talents in demo actually aren't that strong. It's the soul link that actually makes the spec, no doubt. You you have the potential to get your pet back with Feldom, because you can get the master demo now, reducing the cast time. Other than that, it's mostly just, you know, a little bit of tankiness for the pets, resistances, you know, the resummons, a little bit of stamina. There's nothing that really stands out that much, but the, the soul link making you so tanky is gonna be the one to watch out for. On top of that, they're getting tongues. They're getting Fell Hunter, they're getting Spellstone, new rank of Drain Life, so the Drain Life dot is going to be particularly annoying. Uh, they'll be getting Seduce. They'll be getting Demon Armor at 40, so a very nice rank of Demon Armor. They got Howl of Terror, Devour from the pet, Spell Lock from the pet, and then a decent rank of Agony with Shadow Bolt coming in at 36. So demo is going to be very tanky, especially if they play with something like Meta. The melee players are going to be having a very, very bad time trying to kill any sort of uh, Soul Link Warlocks. That also running meta um so i'm taking it from the not uh not applicable spec uh tier to b tier um and potentially it could be higher it, again it depends on the damage they actually put out but this spec kind of reminds me of nunu from league of legends for a while where he was kind of just like trash but he also makes you trash so basically he's just running around doing nothing being tanky as fuck uh, but he also means that you makes it so that you can't do anything either, right? You can't kill him. He's too tanky. He's just being in your face. He's throwing tongues out on your casters. He's spell locking. He's devouring stuff. Yeah, it's just like a bruiser build. Uh, just being super annoying. So it it could even be a. Um, if you if you it, I feel like for me it almost feels the role of like a warrior, right, in the front line of of war song. You could bring like a warrior and a demo lock, put him in the front line, and just soak up so much damage and just be a pain. So yeah. Definitely, I think there's room for this in the meta. Uh, but yeah, the downfall of this spec is the lack of instant cast corruption, no doubt about it. 100%. Uh, which is where Affliction potentially will come in, and that will have the instant cast corruption. Uh, and it will have a bunch more damage, but it will also have a bunch more drain. So... I think Affliction Warlocks offensively are going to be a lot scarier than they are right now. Right now, they, they've got okay damage, but that's not they don't make you sweat as hard as they will next patch, and they're also going to be healing up more than they are currently next patch. However, Mortal Strike is going to be in, so it remains to be seen how much that actually manages to reduce their healing, how it interacts with the runes, and these kind of things. So Affliction, I've still got staying in S. I think that they're getting enough stuff to stay in that tier, the same place they are currently. Um, Destro is actually going to move up a tier. Destro is going to move up to B tier. They get a bunch more instant damage. They won't get more, more crit damage due to rune, range, uh, and just flat damage. And obviously, they get all these, these good things that we talked about before. Um, there's, I feel like there's a couple of options for Destro this patch where they can either play with Succubus and then they can play with, um, with Chaos Bolt. And the Succubus is going to allow them to set up damage, get cast off, these kind of things. Or they can play with Meta. And they can play with uh, the Fell Hunter. And the Fell Hunter is just going to run around being annoying, purging, CSing, whatnot. Meta is going to make them tankier. And then they're going to have the instant Searing Pain. And there's, got, there's a talent, actually, that's going to make that Searing Pain crit more of it. So they're going to have the option to play a lot more instant-based Destro rather than going for cast based destro and just try and put our damage in that way and then if you get any sort of cast off any sort of emulates incinerates anything like that then your damage is going to be going through the roof with the, the searing pain so that's one to watch out for as well i think there's definitely two potential options for them there i don't know if either of them either of them are going to be amazing i think athlete is probably going to be stronger but again one to watch they could get some nice runes if, if Locke gets something like shadow fury then this could be very very strong uh, and then finally, we've got Mage. And I think Mage is definitely going to be stronger next patch than they are now. I don't know how much stronger. I think it kind of depends on, like, 
again it depends on runes but mage gets a nice rank of bolt they get longer poly nice rank of blast they get more mana they get mage armor new rank of arcane explosion okay this isn't that impactful for frost but overall their single target damage is definitely going to be better on top of that they're getting barrier block and then shatter plus ice shards right this is where their shatter combos are going to come from from their ice lances are going to if they run it are going to potentially be doing a lot more damage this patch and they're going to have that more traditional frost play style that you're used to seeing in in you know tbc and wrath um isn't kona cold 42 i feel like kona cold comes in at 42 Can someone check that for me No, but the rank of Cone of Cold. It's going to be a low rank Cone, right? Rank 2 Cone is 42. Yeah. So your Cone of Cold is mostly going to be used for utility, not damage. Again, depends on what runes come in. Are, they, are we going to see Water Elemental? Are we going to see Deep Freeze? Stuff like this is definitely... You know, we're going to push Frost up into S tier if they do end up getting these kind of things. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I think Mage is going to be very very uh, dependent on the runes that they get. Fire, I think... I think Fire could stay A tier. Again, it depends, but they get a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, and right now, Fire is actually doing pretty good single target damage or, or burst damage. The issue is that they go Oom. Um, but yeah, if you do a fire maze, they can definitely burst you down. So, with this increased damage on top of that, they're gonna be they're gonna be scary single target. I think uh, at level forty. So again, I've got all mage specs ranked to A tier. It's difficult to say. It's gonna be dependent on rules big time. I think mage compared to even more so than most other classes. Um, and then yeah, arcane arcane I think is actually gonna receive probably be one of the first classes to actually get some kind of nerf because of the arcane surge and right now arcane mage is already doing these cheesy arcane surge plays with arcane blast and it's only going to get worse when imp cs is going to be a thing i think they're going to have arcane mind and they're going to have arcane power right and So basically what they're going to do, right, is they're going to sheep you. They're going to cast an Arcane Blast into Pom Arcane Blast with CS. Right, so you're not going to be able to react or do anything. And then they're going to mana pot back to full mana and Arcane Surge you. And they're just going to one-shot you. And I don't think there's I don't think there's going to be many classes other than like things like Shaman with Way and, and maybe Warriors with like the big HP, HP pool. Um, Warlocks with Soul Link, stuff like this, that are going to actually be able to tank this. I think even if the Surge doesn't crit... This is going to be doing crazy damage with arcane power, right? Absolutely crazy damage. So I think that what is going to end up happening is I think arcane surge is going to get some sort of a change or nerf. Uh, because this is a very, very obvious and easy to execute one shot. And people are going to cry. So I'll be surprised if that doesn't be, be a thing. Isn't, isn't, a, is a, isn't a regularly seen thing. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be scary for sure. So... Arguably, you could put this as S tier because of that. If that sort of cheese gets it's nerfed, I don't know how much, you know, outside of that they have in terms of utility uh, or, or capabilities. But they get some good ranks, 40 missiles, um, which is, yeah, this is, is good for them for sure. And I think you might see more arcane healer mages, uh, but I'll rank that in the next, next tier list. So, yeah, putting, putting Mage in A tier all round. Um, rather than doing anything too crazy and jumping the gun and putting him into S tier. My original predictions for last uh, phase when I was doing 25 I actually had, had Mage quite high. And we all know how that turned out. So I'm being quite cautious with Mage. Um, and if something turns out to be busted, then, you know unlucky <laughs> but yeah that's that's the tier list i think at the moment i'm i'm pretty pretty happy with this as i said it's it's a prediction and no doubt most stuff will will change it's it's sort of the best idea or you know 
rough estimate that we've got without knowing what runes are coming in, what gear is coming in, all these kind of things, that, which will all change things, no doubt. But yeah, if you want a rough idea of what to, to give a go next patch, what's going to be high, high ranked and just a strong spec, then at least this gives you some kind of an idea rather than just closing your eyes and picking a class, right? 